This intimacy also allowed me to see things I quite frankly could never have spotted if I were following a purely wild family. He's lost his first teeth. Toki's lost his canines, eight months old, and the first baby teeth have gone. You're growing up, boy. Ah, they still hurt, though. <laughs> yeah, they're still sharp. Being with them like this did have its problems, though. I wanted them to be more independent, but as long as we were walking with them, they'd be looking to us for guidance the whole time. Also, I simply couldn't keep up with them when they set off hunting, nor could I hide as well as they could in the grass. We'd reached a point in their growing up when I had to start putting more distance between us. For me to stay close and not disturb their prey, I began to use the car as a mobile hide. Most of the animals here in Lewa are used to seeing vehicles and they pretty much ignore them. This way, I could keep a close eye on Toki and Sambu as they practiced hunting without disturbing them or their prey. And they certainly needed a lot of practice. Time and again, they'd chase animals that were way too big and potentially very dangerous for them. A direct kick from a zebra could easily crush their skull and my heart was in my throat every time they decided to take on the heavyweights. There were times when it felt just too close. You may be fast on your feet, but you've got a lot to learn. 